Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of vlogging and why you should or should not start a vlogging channel or start doing vlogs on your own channel. So when I started my channel all I did was vlogs. Everything I uploaded was a vlog and since then I've kind of not done vlogging as often. I do have a few here and there on my channel but I don't do it nearly as much as I used to and I'm gonna tell you kind of why I backed away from it but why I also still love it. So I feel like all my vlogs back then weren't very good. They never really had a story. It was just me filming my day trying to get something on YouTube every day because I wanted to upload as often as possible and my vlogs were never really good. They just lacked a story. So once I realized that I kind of backed away from doing vlogs a little bit and focused doing some more things and I also never really saw my channel grow at all when I had those vlogs. They never really brought in many views and I was just never super happy with how my channel was going. I did like filming them, but like I said, now looking back at them, they were really boring. Half the days I would be at school, so I never really got to film anything interesting. So unless you are doing something interesting like every day, don't vlog every day unless you can tell a story or make your vlogs interesting. Otherwise, if you just film yourself waking up, going to school, coming home, eating dinner, doing homework, they're not going to be entertaining unless you put your own spin on it and can find a way to make it so people want to watch. But vlogs, however, can be a great way to keep track of your memories. Now that I look back on all these, I see things that I wouldn't have remembered otherwise and like trips and all that. It's a great way to keep track of your memories, watch your videos again and see all the fun that you've had in the past or look back at a fun memory and they can just help you remember a time that you would have otherwise forgotten. So vlogging also gives you great editing practice. Vlogs are a very simple thing to edit. You just put together your day, trim out parts that you don't want in it, and upload it. They're very simple. You don't need to do a lot of special editing or any effects or anything. So if you want to get started into editing itself, vlogging is a great way to just start making some basic videos and uploading them. But vlogs also take a lot of time and commitment, especially if you're doing them every day. So you have to kind of plan out time to edit and make sure you have time to film also. So say you got all your filming done for the day and you want to upload a vlog every day. So you're going to need at least an hour or two, like minimum of an hour or two, to edit those vlogs and upload them and make thumbnails every day. So what I did back then was I would just go to bed around 9 o'clock and then sit on my computer for a couple hours editing and uploading the vlogs then. And I would just do that every single night. So if I had homework and stuff, I'd have to get it all done earlier. Or if I had an event that day and I didn't have time to upload that night, I would have to like skip uploading that day and then upload it the next day and then I might be behind a little bit. So it is kind of tricky to find the balance of time that you can edit and film. However, vlogging is very fun, especially if you have friends and family that like support you on it. So I find travel vlogs especially fun to do. That's what I mainly do now instead of just average vlogs. There's something different and interesting for you to make as well instead of just editing the same type of thing every day. So travel vlogs kind of switch things up in a daily vlog routine. So if you don't have the time in your day but you still want to make vlogs, consider maybe doing them maybe two or three times a week instead of every day. That way it gives you more time to edit if you need to or just get some more overall footage to make your vlogs better. So overall, if you have the time, commitment, and interesting things to make your vlogs about, I say definitely go for it. It's very fun and it gives you a lot of editing practice. But if you don't have the time in your day to film or edit, you may not want to go into that just because it does take a lot of time. So definitely go for it if you have the time and commitment because it does take a lot of that, but it can be very fun. So I think that's all I have to say about vlogging for this video. If you think I forgot something, leave it in the comment section and maybe I'll make a part two about the pros and cons of vlogging. So if you're new, please consider subscribing. I make lots of different types of videos and I will leave my vlog playlist in the description if you want to check it out. So thank you for watching.